Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce our new integration that we have with 3D Connection, specifically with their Space Mouse products. For those that may not be familiar with that, I'll just go ahead and open up their website. This is 3dconnection.com and I'm specifically looking at their Space Mouse product line. We have a lot of users that like to use these devices. And so we've partnered with them using their latest API and the latest API of Tecla Structures to create a link so that these devices will work within your Tecla Structures models. So this 3D connection extension is available for download on the Tecla warehouse. Once it's installed, you'll see this 3D connection icon over here on the side pane on the right hand side. Once you open that up, you'll see this main menu, and I'll go through these options to explain them. But instantly, once you open up the model and you have the device plugged in, the device will be connected to the model so you can begin navigating. So zooming in, panning around, and flying around the model just like you would typically do with the device. Under the menu, you have three options here, and I'll go ahead and introduce what those do. If you click here on the buttons menu, what this allows you to do is to define which macros from Tecla structures you want to be available to link as hotkeys to your 3D connection device. So you can see that I have one macro already available. If you want to add more, you can just hit the plus sign down here, and then I'll just click this drop down, and this will give me a full list of the macros that are available to me. So I'll just go ahead and choose one here and show you an example of that. I'll choose the directory browser. And then I can go in and make more as needed. And then, of course, you can save these settings away. Once I go back to the main menu, I can then click on device menu, which will allow me to then map that using this buttons icon here. So if I click on buttons, this will open up this dialog box where you can see all of the buttons as they're currently defined. The column here on the right hand side and in the middle, these are the defaults for this specific space mouse. So we haven't customized any of those, but out of the box, we have customized these buttons one through 12 with commands that our users typically use. So a command like opening up the document manager, for example, or opening up the reports dialog box or the model folder. So those will be available by default. If you want to customize them, it's really easy to do that. So let's go ahead and customize this button one. So I'll just click this arrow icon here. And then you can see this top option are Tecla Structures commands. If you want to look through the other commands that are available by default, you can view those. I'll just specifically focus on the Tecla Structures ones and specifically these macros. So once I expand the macros folder, I can see that there are two options here, which is what we had defined in the buttons menu. So I'll just choose the directory browser. And as soon as I do that and click close, that command will now be available. So when I click button one on my device, it will then open up the directory browser. Uh, another example again would be if I click button 11, that will open up the reports dialog box. So it's just a quick, easy way to map to hotkeys that you have available on the 3D connection device. If we go back to the device menu, this is the 3D connection dialog box here. Again, if you go to buttons, that will help you map those as needed. And then here you can come in and define advanced settings. So if you want to change or tweak any of these, you certainly can do that. You also have the ability to customize the LCD settings. So on the space mouse that I'm running, there's an LCD screen that shows the icon of the command as well as the text. If you want to tweak or change that, that's where you would do that is from this dialog box here. Sandwiched between that, we have the options menu. So if I click to open that, this is probably more for advanced users. I don't know if many people will come in and tweak these, but if you want to control the sensitivity settings of the zoom or the pan or the roll, that sort of stuff, you can do that. Here under the navigation mode, we do have two options, whether it's a camera mode or an object mode. So if you're focusing just on a single object, you may want to use this, but I think most will use this camera mode where it's specific to the entire model as you're going through and navigating around, but that option is there if needed. The one last thing that we made available here is to control the rotation point. So we're defining the rota rotation point as we rotate around the model. If you want to control that, you can then choose this button over here 
on the right hand side to point to a location in the model to rotate the view around so I could click out here for example and then it changes those dimensions and that's where my view will now rotate around. If you want to reset that you can click this icon over here and that will reset these values to what we choose as the model view is opened. So there's a brief overview of the collaborative work that we've done with 3D Connection. As mentioned before, this is available for download on the Tecla Warehouse. Please feel free to reach out with any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.